Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review of a product or two products that I've been using for the past about like maybe two months or two and a half months. It's been some time already that I've been using these two products. Usually for skincare products, it, yeah, they are skincare products. Usually for skincare products, I like to give them a little bit of time, especially like moisturizers, toners and things like that. And really just try it and, and see how it feels on my skin and then give like a review review. On the video and also kind of on my blog as well. Without further ado, let me introduce the two products that I've been using for the past two months ish. These are the anti pots. I have actually done a couple of anti pots video or kind of first impression. The two products that I've done videos on are these two mask products. One is the anti pots. Halo Skin Brightening Facial Matte Mask. This is the highlight. This is the star that they actually wanted me to try and review on. This one has a video on its own. And uh, personally, I actually quite like this. As a matte mask, I generally don't prefer matte mask because I feel sometimes it can be a little bit drying for my skin and it's a little bit tightening. I mean, I don't mind tightening because they're kind of firming. But uh, usually matte masks in general, they kind of leave like a very, very like dry out kind of feeling on my skin so i i generally don't enjoy my mask but this one though it's it actually surprises me a lot pretty good to be honest this one didn't dry me out like how other mud masks do this one actually moisturized give me that somewhat of a moisturized kind of feeling on my skin which is pretty interesting for a mud mask i think if you're dry skin people and if you still want to kind of I guess try to get out all the gunk as much as possible without drying out your face you can try this out i think you will absolutely love uh, this one this facial mind mask yeah so you can check it out i'll link it somewhere here i believe if it's not then it'll be here yeah i'll link it up there and also i'll link it in the description box below the blog post okay and then the other mask that i tried is the aura manuka honey mask this one my goodness the reason why i asked them to provide me this one to try is because i've actually seen a lot of good reviews about this and this is like really highly rave plus the packaging is pretty cool that's one thing but secondly seriously this one has been like a love for many people it's quite a hype for a lot of people out there as a dry skin person i really do want to try this out because it, it did say that this one is really really good to kind of give you that moisture give you that intensive hydration which is which it, it did exactly what it says it has that Manuka honey. Manuka honey is really good antibacterial. It says that it's actually good for people with acne as well. Then I'm not sure because I feel this is very, very rich. Even the cream itself, it's so rich to the point that it's more of like a cream mask rather than a like a gel mask or a matte mask. It's just usually you don't get that kind of mask. Cream mask you rarely heard of. So this one is just one of those masks that's like cream mask and it's super nice. Even when you apply on, it feels like you're applying on a moisturizer and you leave it there for like 15 minutes and then after that you wash it off. It's very very easy to wash off but you will feel like your skin is so 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 hydrated after using this mask. So uh, the star of today's video is our are these two products, these two anti pots product, one toner and one moisturizer or more like a night cream. This one is the anti pots Ananda Antioxidant Rich Gentle Toner. This one has Mamaku Black Fern, Bulgarian Rose, and Weiwara Artesian Water. I remember the first time I tried to use it, it was I think in this video, the Mud Mask video one. I immediately tried out this toner and also this cream for the very very first time. Uh, I tried it out and I personally don't like the scent. I think even until now, if I'm not mistaken, let me let me just try it. I still think that I don't enjoy the scent as much as the Herb Farm one. The Herb Farm, the rose scent is fantastic. I, yeah, yeah, definitely. I still don't like the scent of this, but the product itself is actually pretty good. It's one of those toner that actually will kind of hydrate your skin. And I remember when I spray, I spray quite a lot. Like okay? I'm very, very generous <laughs> with my toner. I think because I do have quite a number of toners, so I do spray quite a lot. You can actually really do feel that this toner will give you that kind of hydration. Once you tap it all in, you will feel that your skin is 
uh, quite I wouldn't say thoroughly it's not super moisturizing but it does give you that little bit of that moisture on your face you will feel like oh your face is so refreshed but at the same time it's it's hydrating you know if let's say you really can't find any moisturizer around I think you can do like the whole seven layer kind of toner step the Korean step I think I have that video as well where I kind of use a toner and kind of apply on the face seven times basically you kind of layer that that moisture on so if you can't find a moisturizer around this one is one of those toner that you can actually use to layer on and at the end of the day you probably can use this only without a moisturizer that's only like a emergency like totally completely emergency purpose okay or emergency situation i don't know i don't know i don't know what's in there that make me feel like the scent is just it's not i don't know it's just probably the mix of it a mix of the ingredients that just makes the scent a little bit off for me i would say it's bad like it's not unpleasant it's just that preference i guess preference scent it's just not my kind of taste not my kind of cup of tea at least it's a kind of toner that will kind of hydrate your skin um, rather than those that kind of just evaporates in the air and you can't feel anything it's like you apply toner and like never apply toner like that next up we're gonna move on with the night cream okay this one oh my god it is so good i i I'm gonna keep this, I cannot tahan. It's so good. This is the Antipode Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream. So it comes with nutrient rich avocado oil, manuka honey, and antioxidant. What? Antioxidant? Vinanza Grape. Also, with the manuka honey, it's great for like uh, anti aging kind of. It has the anti aging kind of properties in there. And with grape, it has that antioxidant extract in there where it's good to like kind of make sure that your skin is protected from the daily harmful uh, environment that you that you are in uh, every single day <laughs> it feels like this is more of like an anti-aging kind of night cream i personally enjoy anti-aging products sometimes or most of the times especially the ones that are really actually very moisturizing because i feel like older skin kind of, or more mature skin yeah, more mature skin requires more moisture so i feel that my skin it's not mature but it just feels very very dry and i need to start protecting it and you start caring for it because dry skin right it may look good now it may have like i don't know like less maintenance now because you don't go out and you get oily immediately kind of thing but it's very dangerous for you in the future you know? like for me in the future i believe and i'm very very scared that with my dry skin that i will my face will wrinkle up even faster my face will like look even more like prune even faster because of my dry skin so people with oily skin type i mean come on just appreciate your oily skin type because you you will age more gracefully in the future okay going back to the the night cream itself i just it is exactly what it says it is nourishing it is fantastic it feels so good it smells amazing i absolutely love the scent in the beginning i wasn't quite sure i remember when i was uh trying this out for the very first time I wasn't sure of the scent, but then as I use it more often, I kind of come to a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I love the scent and I want to finish it up. Like it has a little bit, very, very tiny bit of the honey scent and I think, I don't know if I can smell avocado in them, but I think mostly it's possibly the grape scent as well. Oh, it has can candledula as well, okay. So maybe the candledula mixed with a little bit of that grape kind of makes the scent smell Try good I would say I just cannot get over the scent of this it, it's like a light green kind of paste and it's quite a thick paste it's not a thick super thick paste like a mask kind of paste it's um it's a very thick cream lah, I would say and I just absolutely love this it really gives you that very luxurious moisturizer on your face I, I would give it a super thumbs up for this one if you are looking for something that's super nourishing for the night time especially for dry skin or or mature skin and you're looking for something that is like super nourishing on your face try this out it really makes you feel so awesome and the next day you'll feel like your skin is plump and also the night before if you have like redness and things like that it really helps to soothe your skin and also calm your skin down and reduce that redness that inflammation on your skin it's just amazing like even when i remember that i have a little bit of a sensitive skin i have this like one little like a couple of days kind of phase where my skin was just extremely sensitive i don't know what's wrong maybe i was just scrubbing my skin too much because i have a couple of scrubs that i had to try out from pr and i think if you view my past few videos there are a number of scrubs in there okay 
So I felt that my skin was extremely sensitive. Using this was really just extremely, extremely helpful. I, I really thank God for this at the right time. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend this to anyone out there basically who's looking for a moisturizer that is thoroughly moisturizing. Not saying that this is cheap, but it is a really, 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 really good moisturizer, okay? That's pretty much the two products that I wanted to give like a review of. It's been a while already, so I've been want, I've been meaning to do this review for quite some time already, but I've just been uh, just quite busy. Like overall, the products that I've used, all these four products that I've used from Antipodes, they are really really good products. I think you should check it out. I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you like this video, and also hit the notification bell button so that every single time I upload a video, you will be receiving that notification. Okay. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!